participants who feel unsafe and uncertain about the future. And so I think it's a great honor of mine to be able to represent those voices in this race and also eventually in Congress. Sex trafficking in the United States is absolutely massive. It's been reported in all 50 states and about 80% of the child sex trafficking cases are of American youth. And so that was the first moment where I realized I need to look deeper into this issue. And the more I looked into this issue, the more I found that it connected to so many other issues in our society, fatherlessness, drug addiction. And so while that was the reason I entered the race, the more that I run in this race, I find that there are far more issues that are interconnected and give us a platform upon which to call for change. For example, sure, public safety is I think everyone wants to feel safe, right? And then when we go to school or when we go to the store, we want to feel safe. I, I, like, I feel this as a woman and I have two younger sisters where when we go to the grocery store, we have to be particularly careful and my, my sisters are always on me to make sure I lock the door right after I get on the car. I think this issue of safety is so important because it influences every other part of our life. And when we don't feel safe, we, we're in this constant anxiety. I'm someone that likes to look at the problem behind the problem. So when we look at public safety today, we see a lot of the symptoms. We see robberies, we see crime, but one of some of the problems that we see are some of the legislation behind it. I was just talking with some police officers here in San Jose, and they were telling me that they weren't able to properly prosecute because of the laws that were behind those issues. And I know some of those are local and state issues, but they, if you look deeper, they all funnel up to the federal laws upon which all other laws have to follow. And so definitely Congress has something to say about public safety for all of the United States, and it does filter down to the individual level resources that grassroots and other political entities have provided to us, we are trying to use to its full capacity. Um, I know that a lot of times we think that money wins uh, campaigns, and oftentimes it is correlated, uh, but correlation doesn't mean causation, and I think that as long as we have a message that resonates with the constituents of CD17, 